When you hear the name kingbird, you might think of a big, powerful raptor like the osprey. With a wingspan of five feet, these guys are bigger than any hawk in America, and you'd assume that no other bird would mess with them. And that would be the case if it weren't for these guys. These are kingbirds, and they're one of nature's biggest bullies. These little guys are smaller than robins, but using their sharp beaks and incredible aerobatics, they rule over every bird in their territory. And just to shatter the confidence of any birds of prey that think they're at the top of the food chain, they assault them on sight with the vigor of a frat bro who just spotted a rando at their toga party. But why are these guys such jerks? And if these tiny ones are this aggressive, just how terrifying is their gigantic Costa Rican relative? But before I hop on a plane and find out, let's break down the rest of this very mean family of birds. Kingbirds belong to a group called the Tyrant Flycatchers. I mean, heck, even their genus name is Tyrannus, embodying the vibe of their distant prehistoric ancestor in the body of a cute tiny bird. No matter where you are in the United States, you're more than likely next to a kingbird. These guys come in a few distinct varieties. You've got your classic western kingbird, gray and yellow and the menace of the west. On the other side of the country, you've got the eastern kingbird. This dapper fellow is dressed like he's going out to a Michelin star restaurant only to attack the waiters. But the coolest species is without a doubt the scissor-tailed flycatcher. This guy is just begging for attention. Their incredibly long tails are pretty much used to stunt on each other. The longer the tail, the more hot and popular the individual is in the eyes of its companions. And of course, it's always the popular ones that end up becoming the biggest bullies. But the wrath of the kingbird doesn't come from nothing. The height of its aggression comes during the breeding season while it protects its nest. During this time, no animal is safe if it lives in the territory of a kingbird, it's hands on sight. Anything that could ever possibly maybe want something to do with a kingbird egg gets absolutely mobbed, whether it be birds, snakes, squirrels, and even people. And these attacks are often relentless, never ending until the enemy leaves the territory. Which really sucks for these ospreys since they decided to nest here. The attacks can range from light pecking to the kingbirds literally latching onto the back of their victim and repeatedly pecking to the back of their skull. But despite this crazy aggression, kingbirds only eat insects. But what if these annoying little jerks grew big enough and powerful enough to be full-blown carnivores? Well, to answer that question, I traveled to Costa Rica to find the biggest, baddest tyrant flycatcher there is. The Great Kiskadee. These things dwarf any kingbird and have a massive hooked bill designed for tearing flesh. To find one of these monsters, we took to the road and started scanning fence posts on the side of it. The best strategy to find tyrant flycatchers in the US. After a solid five minutes of scenic driving, we found ourselves a bird the right color, but we totally got clickbaited. This is a social flycatcher, essentially the Central American equivalent of a Western kingbird. Just another angsty insect eater. This guy's color pattern is exactly like the Kiskadi, which is why its species name is literally Similis, because it looks so similar to so many other flycatchers. Despite our first tyrant of the trip coming pretty easily, the actual cool one was proving much more difficult to find. Despite covering a bunch of ground on the roads, all we saw were more social flycatchers, so it was time to change up our strategy. The bird we're looking for is the biggest bully in this forest, so maybe instead of trying to find the Kiskadi itself, I just need to find some nerd it wants to pick on. So I went through my Costa Rican wildlife book to find the most pathetic and easily bullied bird in the country. You. The Palm Tanager. Small, weak, and boring in color. That's exactly what I needed to find. So I came to a local spot supposedly crawling with them, and after spotting one, all I had to do was wait for a chad to pull up to show this dweeb who's boss. Boom, there it is, one of the most badass birds on the planet. Twice as big as a normal kingbird, the Great Kiskadee is the king of this forest. Raptors, snakes, monkeys, nothing is safe in this guy's territory when it's mad. And with that extra sharp beak, it's gonna be hurting a lot more when this guy hands an animal its eviction notice. But that beak isn't only for bullying the local wildlife, it's also for killing it. 
because the Kiskadi is a full-on carnivore. Lizards, rodents, frogs, fish, and even bats are all on the menu. I'd love to show some of the awesome online pictures of them eating these things, but they're all copyrighted. But feel free to check them out yourself. The Great Kiskadi is such an awesome and unique predatory bird to find here in Costa Rica. But I was still craving some more. And I'm not talking about the raptors here, I mean the downright bizarre carnivorous birds that you can't find anywhere else in the world. Stay tuned on my quest to find what's essentially a giant meat-eating hummingbird.